Well, I've grown up in the Los Alamitos district. I started at Hopkinson Elementary as a little kindergartner and I uh, grew up all the way through McAuliffe, uh, becoming an Eagle, and then, uh, and then as a Griffin, I graduated in 1997, uh, 2006, and I started teaching science and was able to student teacher and then miraculously was able to get a job and for the last 10 years I've enjoyed helping teachers, uh, serving on the biology team, the growth of EdTech, I've been able to help teachers and students throughout the district. It's super impressive when uh, you can find a teacher who has been you know, teaching for 20 years and all of a sudden they're fired up like a new teacher again. Uh, help us to maintain a lot of the Chromebooks and iPads on campus now. Uh, they build the Chromebook carts. Really, it's just been a way for students to uh, help us to, to grow faster than we could as kind of an ambassador to let us go do what we do. And he, he brings us the projects, and then he, brings, uh, he, tells, he kind of gives us what to do. He's our group leader. They don't give them an idea, you know, you know, trigger a little something in their head, and they get to work. And uh, usually, they can't finish a project before they start another project. Because they're just, they just get super excited. Yeah, he, knows to step, to he knows when to step in when our ideas get too crazy, <laughs> but he lets us be effective. What I enjoy the most is being able to uh, help students and teachers alike uh, do things that they've never thought were possible. I think Dan had described instructional networking to me and how they run it within the Los Al district, and I said, I have to see this. I have to bring this back to my district. Los Al is like a family, and that uh, everybody cares about each other's kids and students. Make the best and unlock the possibilities for every student.